I'm Sarah Andrew Wilson. I'm the Director of Music Education for Youth at Levine Music. And today I'm joined by Rebecca Carey, who's the chair of our Suzuki Flute Program at Levine. In a previous video, we explored the Suzuki method and a little bit of its history. And today we wanna to look at some of the differences between traditional instruction and the Suzuki method. So Rebecca, before we begin, I feel like it's safe to say that some of the common traits between traditional instruction and Suzuki method um, are one, that the student learns how to play an instrument, and two, that the student learns how to play an instrument with a weekly private teacher. So what are some of the differences between Suzuki and traditional? Sure. Suzuki method involves the parent 100% of the time, which enables students to start lessons at a much earlier age. The teacher-parent-student triangle allows the student to have two resources, the teacher during the lesson and the parent as the home teacher during daily practice. This means until a certain point that the parent is actively involved in every practice session. Generally, parents are not always attending lessons and are not part of the practice process in traditional style instruction, as the student is usually starting music through their school systems, orchestra, or band programs around third or fourth grade. The second difference is that listening and observing is emphasized in Suzuki. This supports the mother tongue approach, following the philosophy that through immersion, language and other skills like music are acquired. Note reading is introduced after the student learns to play, just as most of us learn to read after learning how to speak. By contrast, traditional students are usually introduced to reading at the same time they are learning how to play. They see the note, they learn the note, and they play the note. Another important distinction is the group lesson component. Each instrumental area at Levine has a specific group class schedule along with the weekly private lesson as part of the Suzuki package. In addition to current pieces, these group classes might include music theory, ensemble playing, and review of prior repertoire. Students interact with other students from all Levine Suzuki studios. They play, progress, and create a community together. Levine's program has group classes for pre-twinklers through teen club, so it's important to note that advanced students are learning collegiate level repertoire and have fine reading skills. Traditional lessons are typically one-on-one -on -one private lessons only, with a student joining outside ensembles or orchestras as they become ready. Suzuki repertoire is laid out in a carefully planned order, with each piece usually adding on a new technical or musical feature. Students are starting with real music and memorizing entire songs from the get-go. Students review previously learned pieces to apply a new technique and add musical nuances that weren't available in their artistic palette initially. Traditional students use method books that commonly start with a page of whole notes, introducing a few note names, then the next page is a series of half notes with a few tunes along the way, and so on. Generally, a piece is learned, then put aside to move on to the next one. Both Suzuki and traditional methods are effective. We are sure your family will find the right fit at Levine. All right, thanks so much, Rebecca. So we hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions or wanna chat more, feel free to contact us at the information on your screen. For Levine Music, I'm Rebecca Carey. And I'm Sarah Andrew Wilson.